Good morning. The Bank of England decided to keep interest rates on hold at 5% yesterday, but what about the building societies? The BBC has been talking to some of the lenders to see what that means for mortgages and for you, and it appears new borrowers can still expect costs to rise. Well, Bradford and Bingley has increased the rate on many of its home loans. The bank says it affects new mortgages taken out on buy to let and standard residential products. Change came into effect at midnight. And Abbey, they told us they plan to increase the cost of several fixed rate mortgages from Monday. Well, Barclays say they haven't announced any changes this week. Nationwide did make uh, an increase on the rate on some of its fixed rate deals on Tuesday, and the BBC is still calling around some of the other lenders. Halifax, they've cut the rate on some trackers, uh, but they left others on hold. Let's uh, go to uh, Aaron. He joins us now from uh, the London Stock Exchange. Aaron. Hi guys, yeah absolutely, we've been very busy this morning. My producers of course have been very busy this morning ringing around and actually gathering the information you've just been talking about. This wasn't publicised in a great deal and in fact it started with that rate rise from Bradford and Bingley and as we know despite all of these, uh, you know, the, certainly the Bank of England keeping on hold the interest rate at 5%. It just shows you that what the banks are lending amongst each other is getting more expensive and they continue, of course, to pass it on to borrowers out there. So, and unfortunately, it looks like it's going to get even more expensive. Let's find out because Robin Amlo, senior editor at moneyextra.com, joins us. Um, Robin, welcome to, to BBC News. As I was just saying, there are a lot of people out there who'll be watching this and scratching their heads and going, but hang on, the Bank of England yesterday kept rates on hold at 5%. Uh, this is all to do with what they lend each other, the banks, right? It's all to do with what's happening in the money markets because I think the, the important thing to say straight away is that not all rates are going up. Only the best ones are going up that are available to people who don't have very much money. Because if you look at what uh, the Abbey is doing, for example, their rates for people who have 25% deposit or 25% equity in their home if they're already remortgaging, those rates haven't changed. It's the rates for people who have a smaller amount of money or smaller equity that have gone up. Other, in other words, the riskier people. So, or, or shall we say, once again, it's the poorest here that are getting hit. It is, it is effectively the poorer people who are getting hit, people who are at the bottom end of the market be, still being priced out. But it's not the bank's fault on their own. It is what's going on in the money markets. Well, it is what's going on in the mar money markets, and people want to know if you know the Bank of England can keep rates on hold and they can do what they want, but it doesn't have uh, an effect, it appears. What's going to change that? When are we going to see mortgages at, at decent levels, or at least levels for the poor out there to be able to afford? How confident are you feeling? Because that's what it comes down to. It's all a matter of confidence. Markets run on fear and greed, and it's all about confidence amongst the banks themselves as to whether they feel they can lend to each other and what price they can feel they can lend to each other. We're talking about Bradford and Bingley. Look at the shenanigans that have been happening at Bradford and Bingley over the last couple of weeks. If you were another banking institution, would you continue to lend to Bradford and Bingley? Well, the answer is yes, you would, but you might actually price the money you're lending to them a little bit more expensively. And that means, of course, that it's going to be more expensive for the Bradford and Bingley to pass on to its mortgage borrowers. And that's happening to everybody, to all the banks. And the thing of it is, is that these deals that we're talking about, the tracker rates, the discount rates, the special deals, they're the ones that the banks fund routinely out of money market operations. So if the money market rates are going up and, and the three-month interbank rate, which is the one that people tend to look at in financial circles to, to mirror the Bank of England's base rate, is still substantially higher, and that means the banks are paying a premium for their money, which means these mortgages are more expensive. Yes or no, getting worse before it gets better? It's going to get a bit tougher before it gets better. Well, Robin Amlo from uh, MoneyExtra.com, thanks very much for that. Well, you heard it here. Of course, we'll continue ringing around. If we see any more changes from uh, mortgage rates, we'll make sure we get them across to you as soon as possible. Excellent. Thanks, Aaron.